Uganda in May passed its anti-LGBTQ law, which is already receiving varied reactions from across the world, including the World Bank halting new loan approvals for the country. Here in Ghana, Parliament is making progress on the anti-LGBTQ bill, the promotion of appropriate sexual rights and family values bill, which seeks to criminalize the promotion, advocacy, funding, an act of homosexuality. But the U.S. Ambassador to Ghana, Virginia Palmer, says Ghana should be cautious about its stance on LGBTQ. Ghana is a very welcoming, tolerant society. Lots of inter-religious harmony, a lot of inter-ethnic harmony, and that makes Ghana strong and stable and attractive for investment. I hope it stays that way with regard to the LGBT community. And again, there's money to be made. You know, the color of your money is green or red if it's Ghanaian. Um, but if there is discrimination or worse, um, then that will send a signal to not just LBGT investors um, and exporters, but the other American companies that Ghana is less welcoming than I'm telling people that it is now. So I hope it will stay welcoming. The U.S. has already threatened aid cuts and other sanctions, including visa restrictions against Ugandan officials. Ambassador Palmer fears any law that is hostile to the LGBT community has a likelihood to affect trade relations between the two countries. Out of the 54 African countries, only 22 of them have legalized homosexuality, including South Africa, Botswana, Gabon, Angola, and Mauritius.